थैंक यू थैंक यू मेंबर द नेक्स्ट ऑनरेबल मेंबर हु हैज टू स्पीक इज मिस्टर मोहम्मद अब्दुल्ला थैंक यू ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर सर आई राइज टू अपोज द अपोज द यूनियन बजट 2024 और 2025 sir i hope you heard about a word karma means what you saw is what you reap whatever you think you will get whatever you do you will have they are always thinking about the minority in a negative way they end up with the minority government that is karma that is karma yes what you sow is what you reap before i begin to point out three key failure of this budget i would like to thank the indian people for putting bjp in its rightful place in this august temple of democracy yes honorable finance minister has become the first finance minister to present the budget for the seventh time in a row i congratulate her for her capacity to deliver the budget speech but people of the country especially the middle class feel that she has failed the miserably for the seventh time without getting a pass mark we expected good economic reforms and people oriented schemes from her but she has betrayed our hopes sir this government is newly married with bihar and andhra pradesh <laughs> we know very well that all the grooms lavishly spend for their newly married wife only in the beginning not all the time only 60 days <laughs> Oh, in the beginning only 60 days but on the but on the day of the marriage itself everyone in this country knows that they will get divorced very soon <laughs> sir in america sir in america people will get married to get a green card everyone knows it, this is not a real marriage and they married only to get the green card yeah. so this is the marriage of convenience it is called as a marriage of convenience like this this is, this is called as a, a budget of convenience we are waiting to see if the two states will run away after getting the special package or these people will run away after taking their mps we are waiting <laughs> <laughs> when the when the when the when the honorable pm says vikas we should inter, uh, we should not interrupt as uh, it has growth harmony and peace for ourselves and india it must be translated as unimaginable growth for this beloved gujarati to a business friends pm said sabka saath sabka vikas but saath and vikas is mean only for two people and not the whole india sir honorable sir in the interim budget 2024 25 the finance minister claimed to have lifted out of 25 crore people from multi dimensional poverty from the poverty line among 25 crore people among 25 crore people i know only two people the two a businessman who are all the other 24 crore 29 lakh 29998 people sir why is union government favoring some states and harming revenue generating states like tamil nadu ignoring opposition demand with such bias betrays our democracy and the cooperative federalism in our constitution why this bias why this hypocrisy it is very sad that the union government which is supposed to represent the people of the country has sold is a puppet of very few sir the budget 24 has provoked a constructive debate and unbearable disappointment in tamil nadu a state known for its robust economic contributions and industrial powers Tamil Nadu often regarded as a manufacturing hub of India and a key player in sector like automobiles information technology and textile we expected substantial support and recognition in this year budgetary allocations and received nothing but disappointment even the issues like food relief fund and pending gst compensation have emphasized the demand of tamil nadu the union budget has not addressed any of these presenting demands 
Sir, it is very unfortunate and unfair that to see the union government's unequal distribution of income to the state governments, especially for non-BJP rural states like Tamil Nadu, which provides the highest tax for the union government. For instance, out of the disaster relief of rupees 37,000 crore 906 uh, six crores was demanded by the government of Tamil Nadu for severely affected by the floods in 2023. Uh, partly 276 crore only was given by this union government. The government has provided approximately 4.5 crore, lakh crore to the Tamil Nadu from 2014 to uh, 2023, while the direct tax collection from the state during this period was approximately 6.5 lakh crore. Sector pivotal to Tamil Nadu's economy such as agriculture, education and health care have not received the support needed to foster sustainable growth and development. The finance minister, who spoke about the nation's food security while allocating funds for the Polavaram project in Andhra Pradesh, has conveniently forgotten the farmers of Delta region of Tamil Nadu, who are equally important to the food security of the country. Our finance minister, she has gone up and she graduated in Delta region only. The education ministry, UGC and NTA, have lost the trust of the people due to the continuous scams. The Director General of NTA has resigned and ran away. The UPSC Chairman has resigned and ran away from his responsibility. But the Union Minister of Education is giving sermons as if nothing happened in Neat Question Paper League. As an MP from Tamil Nadu, our long-held stand is Neat is not needed and all common entrance exam conducted by this union government must be stopped. For a true federal arrangement, the exams must be run by all the state governments, duly voted by their own people, and move higher education back to the state list. By tinkering with the education, we are not only failing our future generation, but also shaking the fundamental of this unified country. The union government has also stopped the payment of around 2,000 crore rupees to the government of Tamil Nadu under Sarva Sikshi Abhiyan only because we do not agree with the new education policy which imposes Hindi and it is against our state autonomy. Yes. When this government came to power for the first time, our Honorable Prime Minister proclaimed that they will create 20 million jobs annually. 20 million jobs annually. The Economic Survey 2024. This economic survey 2024 says 8 million jobs needed to be created till 2036. This government has the habit of hiding uncomfortable data from the public eye. This government does not respect any international data. While none of the data delivered by this government is respected in global circle. This means we only have a self-delusion leader and the entire cabinet, supporters, social media, TV channels, singing is peons without focusing on the people. Yeah. I am reminded of Emperor Nero, who was busy with his fiddling while Rome was burning. While Rome was burning. The unprecedented unemployment problem in this country is getting worse day by day, and the government failure to tackle the unemployment problem in the country is unpardonable. Unemployment rate and its highest in independent. And if you see the unprecedented crowd of youth from North India in the southbound train is an humble proof for this unemployment problem in this country. But one thing, but I am satisfied with the fact that this minority government did not announce that they would provide jobs to 40 crore youth from across the whole world. The Indian Railway, typically a central focus in the Indian budget and a major recipient of funds, surprisingly did not receive attention in the 2024 budget, even after consecutive train accidents. Sir, while the union budget 2024 sets a roadmap for Indian's economic path, its reception in Tamil Nadu underscores the necessity for inclusive and region sensitive policy making. Addressing the concern of states like Tamil Nadu is not just about financial allocation, but about fostering a sense of equitable growth and partnership in India's journey towards prosperity. Sir, I want to tell one thing in Tamil, I will translate also. 
வங்கிகள் வட்டிக்கு வட்டி போட்டு மக்களை வதக்கிறாங்க ஒன்றிய அரசோ வரிக்கு வரி போட்டு மக்களை வாட்டுறாங்க நம்ம நாட்டில் சகல வசதிகளோடு சுகமாக வாழணும்னா ஒன்றும் பணக்காரனாக இருக்கணும் இல்லாட்டி பரமாத்மாவோட குழந்தையாக இருக்கணும் மீன்ஸ் பேங்கர்ஸ் ஆர் ஹராசிங் பீப்புள் பை லெவிங் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஆன் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வேரஸ் த யூனியன் கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் எக்ஸாக்டிங் டேக்ஸஸ் ஆன் டேக்ஸ் டேக்ஸ் ஆன் டேக்ஸஸ் ஃப்ரம் த பீப்புள் only two kind of people can live comfortably in this country one is super rich and second one is our honorable children of paramatma sir whether any concrete step being taken by this government to review this to review the union government and state government relationship to uphold cooperative federalism in this budget the answer is no there are four things that our dravidian model government in tamil nadu has given to indian politics which is mandate now, now for the development of this country sir one is equality and another one is social justice the third one is state autonomy and another and the fourth one is welfare economics all these were shaped by our unique historical continuity of tamil nadu on the basis of social justice guided by tandai periyar perarengar anna muthamilarengar dr kalangar and now by our honorable chief minister of tamil nadu talabadi mk stalin this minority government should understand this first sir dravidian yes, model yes sir dravidian model exactly the dravidian model professor sir before i conclude my speech i would like to strongly register my protest for what the bjp leaders said during the campaign trail about minorities sir my name is mohammad abdullah i am a tamil mother tongue tamil speaking tamil muslim for generations we follow islam once my floor leader honorable shiva anna told in this august house not one time many time even outside outside on stages also during the partition we had a choice but my forefather stayed back my forefather we had a choice shiva anna told on this house Muslims had a choice, but their forefathers stayed back here. No one can question my patriots. No one! Like my family, millions of Muslim families stayed back here. We have the same equal rights like any other in this country. Belitting us as a foreigner or trying to evict us using CAA, NRC and countless other rules is not going to work. I am along with all the Muslims in this country. our sons and daughter of this soil no government in power either state or union government can uproot us from our motherland so so stop so stop playing your religion so stop playing your religious for, for polarization card and we collectively thank you mr abdullah thank you let us try to uplift this great nation for the generation to come with this i conclude my speech sir thank you thank you thank you thank you the next The next speaker is Mr. Sanjay Singh. Your time is 12 minutes, Mr. Sanjay Singh.